Good evening, one and all. GLL back for yet another video. Now, if any of you have been wondering, if any of you, if any of you have ever wondered why people in the Halo community on YouTube are so fucking retarded in comment sections and shit like that, it's because of videos like this one that we're about to take a look at. Okay. Video is total bollocks from start to finish. And yet, the mindless masses, the mindless sheep will absorb all this information. And it will be coming to a comment section near you. So, keep on your toes and expect the following to be said multiple times across multiple videos on YouTube as though it's a fact. Even though it's totally subjective and wrong. So, what am I talking about? It's Luke the Notable here, which we haven't uh, who we haven't talked about for a while. Um, video has three hundred and forty-two thousand views in three weeks. Why does it have three hundred and forty-two thousand views? A twelve-minute Halo Reach video that is completely false information has 342,000 views and 13k likes. 13k likes. There was only 332 people who had a brain. Now there's going to be 333 people that had a brain. Okay, this video is horse shit. What do you mean 13k fucking likes? Okay, so for a start, nobody in this fucking YouTube community, or whatever you want to call it, has a fucking clue about Halo Reach. Even the best of the best, like Massa Grief Collection, make their mistakes on Halo Reach. Dandy DNA, Weapons Grade, Rony Boney, Favin, they've all made retarded mistakes about Halo Reach. False accusations about Halo Reach, okay? And I'm not going to get into everything. You know, your LNGs do it. Your Green Skulls do it constantly. Your Halo followers do it constantly. They all throw Reach under the bus. Constantly. Because it's like a scapegoat for all 343's misdeeds. Halo Reach is not a game made by 343 Industries. Halo Reach is not a poor Halo game. Halo Reach is probably the best Halo game in terms of multiplayer. Now, I can already hear the fucking fanboys from Halo 2 and 3 disliking the video to the fucking moon and getting the fuck out of here. But, you know, that's their fucking loss. Because we're about to look at this video and I'll explain exactly why everything in this video is wrong. If you can't trust me on Halo Reach, you can't trust me on anything. It ain't worth you being here. That's the truth. If you want to live in ignorance... And let people like Luke the Notable, who haven't got like two brain cells to rub together, tell you about Halo Reach. Then you've got serious mental issues. You've got problems. Okay, don't get your information from Luke the Notable. Don't get your information from Late Night Gaming. Don't get your information from fucking Green Skull. Use your fucking brain, and this shit should be obvious from day one anyway. This shit should be obvious from what you can see with your own eyes, but if if you can't see it with your own eyes, at least listen to educated people like myself. At least listen to what I've got to say and make your own mind up. So, 12 minutes of this shit. Are you ready for this? Maximum accuracy, maximum armor lock, and maximum sadness. Halo Reach. If you don't like Halo Reach, then go f*** yourself. What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Notable here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Halo Reach. And to be honest, I really don't talk about Halo Reach enough. You see, right now Halo Reach is getting closer to being 10 years old than it is to being 5 years old. It's an old game, but it still has a very active community. If you have an old copy of Halo Reach, put it into an Xbox One, you will download an update, and boom! You're playing Halo Reach, and if you're playing on this- Or you could just play it on the 360, which is the superior way to play the game, but whatever. 
same gamer tag, all of your Spartans in-game statistics, scores, and ranks will still be there today. If it's been a while since you played some Halo Reach, do yourself a favor, pop that sucker in and play a couple matches of multiplayer. Okay, sh Obviously, all your ranks and shit is saved. This is not a main game made by 343. Oh, but wait, they did delete all the stats from waypoints because they actually control that part of the game. Sure, the DMR still can't shoot straight and the abomination that is armor lock still exists. However, he... Um, the DMR doesn't shoot straight? What? The, the DMR doesn't shoot straight. I think you'll find what the reticle bloom does. It stops you consistently firing the weapon at speed. That's what it does. It doesn't hinder your aim. What hinders your aim at long range is because you are spamming the fucking trigger. Trying to get a shot at distance. What do you mean it doesn't shoot straight? It doesn't shoot straight how? It shoots straight... It just doesn't shoot as fast as the fucking BR does. It doesn't have burst fire, it's a single shot, so you have to be even more precise with your shots. That doesn't mean it doesn't shoot straight. It's one of the most accurate weapons in the game, one of the most accurate weapons in gaming. It's precise as fuck, that's how it was designed. If anything, there's more problems with the pistol in that game. That's the weapon that doesn't fucking work. The fucking DMR doesn't shoot straight. That's false. That's not a fucking opinion. That's just a fucking fact. Okay? Fire up the game now. Just put another controller in. Aim directly at somebody's face. You'll see the bullets hit them directly in the face. Fact. That's that's not even... It doesn't, like, go to the right when you shoot at the face. It doesn't go to the right, go to the left, go above their head. It goes where you point the fucking aimer and shoot. Therefore, that is false. Easily disproven within a matter of seconds by anybody that owns the game, right? So we're 50 seconds in and he's already talking nonsense. 50 seconds in, he's already fucking talking bullshit. And what does he mean? Oh, the armor lock still exists. Well, yeah. And? This is Halo fucking Reach. Do we go back to Halo 3 and like, oh, fuck, the power drainer still exists. No, because we know it still exists because we're playing Halo fucking 3. Okay, I hate the fucking power drainer. I hate the fucking regen field. I hate that fucking radar scrambler fucking bullshit. I hate the flares. I never liked any of them fucking equipment or abilities or whatever in fucking Halo 3. Do you know what I mean? So, what's the... F the only one I did like was probably the bubble shield. But, like, Really? Really, we, we don't go back to Halo 3 and then criticize everything that was put in the fucking game. What's that shit about? Oh, the armor lock's terrible. Like, what is it, 2010 all over again? It's Halo Reach. The armor lock's not going to disappear from Halo Reach. So what kind of fucking stupid statement is that? Should I make every Halo 3 video I make from now on, should it be like, oh shit, the power drain is in this game, so the game's shit. What? I mean, I do hate that fucking power drainer, but that's not all what the game is about. It's just one ability. Halo Reach is still a lot of fun, and the community is alive and kicking, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So let's get going and start talking about why Halo Reach is still played today. Let me just skip all this bullshit for a second. Halo Reach is still played today because it is the best halo multiplayer game ever made full fucking stop that's why that's why and not only that it's the last decent halo multiplayer game that was ever made so it's obvious isn't it there's all these different renditions of halo 3 there's the fucking pc uh, russian version Halo Online, there's the MCC, there's Halo 3 on the 360. And if you put all that shit together, it still wouldn't come close to Reach's population right now. 
Halo 5 doesn't need to have Reach's population right now. That's because Reach is the best fucking game ever made. In terms of multiplayer. In terms of content. And people that just like have never played Halo Reach pick that up one day and then they start playing that. Im- imagine that now. Imagine picking up Halo Reach today like you'd never played it. I mean, I played like 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 matches or whatever. I could even lost count. I think it was like 4,800 or something like that. Off the top of my head. So, for me, it's old news. Okay, even though it's the best game ever made. Even the best game ever made is going to get fucking old eventually. Okay? You can do the same fucking shit over and over. But imagine getting that game new today. What game compares to that today? Name name one game that even, even remotely compares to Halo Reach. N- none. There ain't a single multiplayer game that even comes fucking close. And you fucking know it. So imagine all these people that never even had Halo Reach back in the day. They just, they probably go, oh, I'll just play it for five minutes, see if it's any good. And then they just fucking stick around because it's like the best game they've ever played. I wanted to start this video by proving to you all that he- Why is Amazon backing Luke the Notable? I don't get it. Halo Reach does have an active community, so I'm just going to search for a Team Slayer game. We're going to see if we can find anybody just searching for Team Slayer. Now, this isn't prime time. Uh, I know it looks a little dark, but that's because I have nice lighting. Uh, but we're actually searching right now at about 11 a.m. on a Wednesday, and you can see that we've already found a full lobby of players. Soon we'll be taking to the game lobby, we can vote on our maps, and we're going to be playing pretty soon. So even without the help of Prime Time, Halo Reach is able to find games for you anytime. There are so many people that play Halo Reach, you can always find games. It's a very active and healthy community, which is great. But of course, in this video, we're going to be going over why. Fast matchmaking isn't... We know why. It's the best Halo game ever made for multiplayer. That's why. It's not rocket science. Let me expand on that, okay? Why is it the best game ever? The matchmaking is the best it was ever was, okay? Even when there's a low population in the playlist, somehow the game knows to find people in that playlist, okay? And because there's no ranks that everybody always praises from Halo 3, the level 50 you know level 1 to 50 ranking system it doesn't limit the game to finding people with a certain skill therefore the pr- player pool is everybody that's playing the game therefore you can always find people you can't do that in halo 3 so there's one good reason why halo 3 it's like ridiculously hard to find a game okay there's more people cheating on halo 3 there's more people who have hacked halo 3 Whereas Halo Reach is a lot better. It doesn't have as many hackers and shit. You get them, but not as many. Halo Reach has a way better forge mode. Way more game modes. Way more custom games can be done. Shit you can do in the game. And there's there's way more fucking content. Way more maps. And they just made all the DLC free for this game. And not everybody even had the DLC for Reach. Because... That Halo 3 had the, the disc that came out, whereas that never happened for Halo Reach. And that's just a few reasons off the top of my head. There's many, many fucking more, but that's just a few fucking reasons. What's this guy gonna say? The only reason that Halo Reach is alive today, though. Halo 5 has fairly fast matchmaking, but its population has been dwindling since its release. Halo 5 didn't have fucking fast matchmaking the day it released. It was slow as ass then. So, I. You know, the day Halo Reach released, you could like, you couldn't even go for a piss in the time it took for, to, to fucking load a game. Okay, if you needed a piss and you forgot and you left the game running, you were fucked. You had to play the match. You were in the next game. You had to pull out and wait. Everybody had to pull out and wait in the lobby. And then you came back and then you searched and then you just got a game. Bang. Name me a game that does that today. They don't fucking exist. You have to sit in the lobby for fucking ages. Go take your piss breaks, make yourself a cup of tea, 
have a bag of crisps, whatever. You can do whatever you want because it takes that long to find a match. Gears of War is notorious for this. Has been since Gears of War 2. The matchmaking is terrible. That's a clear example. Okay, the new Halo games matchmaking, Halo 4 and Halo 5, was not as good as Halo Reach. It's nowhere near. And that was at release. And the population dipped, like, way lower than Halo Reach now. So, how is Halo 5 even... A, you can't even compare Halo 5 to Halo Reach. It's a joke. Fast matchmaking is one reason in a huge list of reasons why Halo Reach is still played today. There are still people playing Halo Reach all around the clock, all around the world, and it takes more than just quick game times in order to make that happen. I think one of the biggest reasons that Halo Reach has stayed so popular is that there's only one real place to play it on. Whether you're playing on an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, or an Xbox One X, all of the Reach servers are exactly the same. Having shared servers has increased the population and the longevity of Halo Reach. But that that's not all. The progression's right. But Halo 4 was dead way before Halo 5 even came out. Before the MCC even existed, Halo 4 was dead. So don't give me that bullshit about, oh, well, it's because there's so many different versions of Halo 4 and so many different versions of Halo 3. Because if you combined all those versions together, it still wouldn't have the same as Halo Reach. Nowhere near. So what kind of excuse is that? If they really preferred those games, then those games would have higher populations. But they don't. Reach is way more popular than it's given credit for. Time and time again. It proves. I mean, I don't even know of another game that we could even... Even Halo 2 was dead on its arse, but then again, it, obviously it was followed by Gears of War 1, and fucking Halo 3, so pretty hard to fucking keep your population when you've got games like that against you. But nowadays, Reach has nothing to compete with. Reach is, like, way better than anything that's come out in the last, like, eight years or whatever, or seven years. It'll be eight years in September, won't it, or whatever. I don't know, seven or eight years. Um, so Halo Reach is way better than anything that's come out since then, so... Unless something comes out that's superior, why would you stop playing it? Unless, like me, you played it to absolute death. And finally moved on after playing hours and hours of games. All these people in these lobbies you see on this game probably won't even be halfway near the amount of games that I fucking played on Halo Reach. So, anyway, continuing system of Halo Reach, how you rank up throughout the game, may also be a reason why there are so many players even today. Max rank Okay, so everybody always complains about the ranking system in Halo Reach, right? They complain there's no 1 to 50 ranks, yet he's saying this is a good idea for the, the ranking system is why people keep coming back. Well, the ranking system, if they were really playing just for their rank, wouldn't they just play Firefight? They're not. They're playing multiplayer. Which means it's not just about ranking up. Yeah, it's nice to rank up. It's nice to get a new rank. It's nice to get some new pieces of armor. It's great. But that's not why they're playing the game. That's just one feature of the game. And that's not a big deal. Because if you really wanted that fucking in inheritor and you want that fucking helmet, just spam Firefight. You'll get way more points. Rank in Halo Reach, or the Inheritor rank, is achievable with 20 million credits. Now for reference, each game you play in Halo Reach gives you about three to 5,000 credits. So the max rank in Halo Reach represents hours and hours and thousands upon thousands of games completed. So if you started playing Halo Reach today, there is a long path of achievements that you can unlock to get to max rank. And at the you end- You can't use the word achievements because achievements implies achievements, not accomplishments within the game. End of that terribly long grind, you get the Haunted Helmet, which is one of the most sought after helmets across all of the Halo games. The Haunted Helmet has given so much inspiration to so many players of Halo Reach that even to this day, right now, people are still grinding for it. The Haunted Helmet of Halo Reach is truly one of the coolest, best, rarest, whatever you want to call it, give it any accolade you want, it is the best looking armor in all of Halo. And I could it's pretty fucking overrated if you ask me, it's just one of the helmets is already in the game with the skull inside. It's not that great. 
talk all day about all of the reasons that made Halo Reach just a fun game to play. Another example is the challenge system. Every day you can get a new daily challenge, and every week there is a weekly challenge that can help you to focus your skill in Halo Reach. The challenge system of Halo Reach helps to focus its player base into different playlists, keeping them out of one single playlist for too long. Infection is also one of the biggest reasons that Halo Reach is still played today. I think out of all of the infections across all of the different Halo games, Halo Reach is the one that got it right. Infection, zombies, living dead, whatever you want to call it is a- Halo Reach got everything right because it's the best Halo multiplayer game classic tradition in Halo. It's been around since classic Halo 2. And the Halo Reach zombie modes are regarded as some of the most balanced and most fun across all of the Halo. You don't talk to me about balance in zombie mode because that's retarded. Yeah, that's stupid. There is no balance in zombie mode, seriously. Halo games, and for that reason, they are still played today. One of the biggest reasons is that in Halo Reach's zombie mode, yes, it's very fun to be a human, but it's also fun to be a zombie. There's an incredibly good balance in Halo Reach's zombies, and it makes playing multiple games of Halo Reach zombies incredibly fun and enjoyable. Multiple game mode. I fucking hate zombies and maps and forge creations all come together in Halo Reach's infected mode to make it one of the best across all of the Halo games. There's even a whole community in Halo Reach dedicated just to- I fucking hate Griff Ball. Griff Ball boosting. So you'll notice that when you're playing the Halo Reach Griff Ball playlist, there will almost always be at least one person not even playing. The way Griff Ball works in Halo Reach allows for massive amounts of credits to be earned to the player, even if you don't do anything. So you can AFK Griff Ball and get a ton of XP. Or credits, XP, credits, it's all the same thing. You get a whole lot of them because of the heavy boost. Yeah, but you'll get fucking a day ban and then a fucking week ban and then a fucking six month ban if you fucking AFK. Might want to tell you that so you don't fucking fall into that trap, guys. You know, if he's just telling you to do that, that's a great idea. Yeah. You won't be getting any fucking credits if you get fucking banned. Just throwing that out there. Don't be fucking sitting in lobbies because it ain't going to fucking help you in the long run, is it? Most of the time you can make peace with a teabag and kill the AFK players on the enemy team. It's common. It's in the culture of Halo Reach Griffball. My favorite way to show that it's I... because the people in Griffball are fucking idiots like they've always been. I'm truly not a threat and I'm just in it for the massive amounts of credits is looking down with an energy sword and crouch. What's the point in getting credits when you're a fucking nobleman? Like, what's the point? You're nowhere near fucking inherited. Like, go and play Firefight if you want to get credits. If that's your goal, then go and play Firefight. You'll get way more credits in Firefight than you ever will in Griffball. So what's the point? Seriously, Firefight. That's what you want to do. Firefight every time. Every day there'll be like three, four Firefight challenges. So why not just do them? Makes no sense. Almost all of Halo Reach is designed in some way to keep you playing, keep you coming back, keep you earning credits. And Halo Reach does a fantastic job of keeping players engaged. Why is it about earning credits? The game is so good if you took the credit system away, if you took the challenges away, if you took the fucking inheritor away, no one would care. People would still play it because it's a great fucking game experience of actually playing the matches of actually playing with a team of actually playing in a squad on halo reach is like something if you've never experienced i cannot put it into words it's like the, it's the best game ever so what what the fuck oh yeah it was this this and the other it has all this shit extra everything you're saying is like an, an extra that just makes the game even better if you didn't have any of that shit if you just put it like if, if it's just the gameplay itself is the best. Fuck. With it. However, if the gameplay aspects of Halo Reach weren't there, meaning the game wasn't fun, Thank you. none of this would matter anyway. Halo Reach has Correct. done a ton of things correctly, but I think what it does best across all of the Halo games is Halo Reach has the best social experience, by far. Halo Reach provides the best social experience because across all of the Halo games, Halo Reach requires the most luck. I'll show you what I mean with a gameplay what? example. Here's some footage on Halo Reach on the map Sword Base. A blue player is about to jump into the bottom of the map and I'm going to challenge him using my DMR. It looks like I got the kill and I did it in five perfect shots. What's your point? We're gonna watch this gunfight on this blue player one more time, really? but we're gonna pause the frame here. This is the moment right before I land the final headshot killing the blue player you see on screen. And if I'm being honest, I probably shouldn't have got that kill. 
Halo Reach has Weapon Bloom, so when you shoot, your accuracy will decrease. This Weapon Accuracy Decrease, otherwise known as- What the fuck did that fucking prove? That could have just been fucking lag. The guy's coming off of a fucking thing and he's falling down. So, on your screen, the fucking where his head was, wasn't where it fucking was on- on- Oh, these fucking people. How the how the fuck can you base anything on that? Oh, it, it's all luck. No, the fucking bloom takes skill to fucking understand and how it fucking works, and you don't understand how it fucking works. Jesus Christ Almighty! How the hell is a single shot weapon? How does that take less skill than a burst fire weapon? Can you please explain that one to me? Because I'm just not feeling it. I just don't understand what you're talking about. You are completely insane. It makes no sense. ...known as Weapon Bloom is part of almost every gun in Halo Reach's sandbox. And while all the guns in Halo Reach still do require a fair bit of skill, for higher, faster time to kills, sometimes you just have to get lucky and hope that your bullets fly where they're supposed to. Because of Weapon Bloom on the DMR and other precision weapons in Halo Reach, some of the weapons are a little bit hard to get fast but also perfect kills. So sometimes, if you're lucky, spamming your shots can work. But other times, it will get you killed. Getting five perfect headshots with the DMR in Halo Reach and earning yourself a perfect kill is You difficult. don't have to get five perfect headshots, you're a retard. You only have to get a headshot on the last hit. So if you hit him in the fucking chest, it'll still do the same damage. So why'd you have to get five perfect headshots, you fucking idiots? You only have to get one headshot when his fucking shield goes down, which is more clear than any other Halo game ever because there's no fucking shield bleed through. Your shields drop and then he's there for the taking there's when you melee there's when you headshot it's more clear than any other fucking game okay jesus christ almighty you don't have to get five perfect headshots to kill somebody in any halo game in halo 2 you can literally shoot somebody in the fucking chest on fucking uh, warlock when you're on the central platform and the auto aim will give you a headshot you don't know anything about fucking Halo, man. The fucking auto aim and shit is fucking stupid at times. It's different on every fucking game. You could spend hours just playing the game in, in custom games, learning all the fucking stuff. You'd be amazed the stuff you find out. You'd be amazed. Like the grenade respawns in Reach are like 45 seconds. The grenade respawns in like Halo... Three are like 10 seconds and then the grenade respawns in Halo 2 are like 15 seconds or something? Why? Why is it so fucking different? All through, everything's different. The aim is on the fucking bottom of the screen in Halo 2 and, and ODST and then Halo 1, it's in the center of the screen. Why is it? Why is the aimer in the same place on Halo ODST as it is in Halo 2? But it's in a different place for Halo 3, a different place for Halo 1. All the Halo games have an aimer in different fucking place in the screen. Always different. Dear as damn it. How does how does that even make sense? You you you, you haven't even gone through. You you've, you've not even looked at the fucking mechanics of the game, and you make all these fucking assertions about how the things work, and you don't have a clue. I don't even know fucking everything, but at least I know most of it. At least I try to understand some of it, but you just fucking, oh, I have to get five headshots. No, you fucking don't. What are you talking about? The guy's in the fucking air. Why would you even aim for his fucking head? You can see his fucking bollocks more than you can see his head. The only headshot you need to make is the last one. That's it. You're the guy fucking aiming for his head when he's falling down. So what happens there? Well, he's falling down, so as he's falling down, clearly his fucking carcass is going to come down and your aim is going to stay above his fucking carcass. That's why as he's coming down, you nearly missed his head. If you've been shooting him in the chest and timing it correctly, as he was falling, your last shot would have hit him in the head as, as you fell down. And you can only learn that from playing the fucking game. And learning how many shots you're going to... is gonna how how And learning how long it's going to take you to shoot those shots and how slowly he's gonna fucking fall for me i wouldn't even be standing in the middle of the fucking map right in the fucking open shooting somebody anyway 
I'd be up on a fucking bridge somewhere picking fuckers off. You'd be fucking dead and he'd be fucking dead if I was playing that game. Grenades would be flying down there and fucking bullets would be flying. You'd be, both be fucking dead. I mean, if it was multi-team, obviously, I wouldn't kill my own team, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you stand in the middle of the fucking map anyway? What a stupid position. You stand in the middle of the map, a guy's on a grav lift that's rarely fucking used, except by fucking noobs anyway, because it gives your position away right away, like, wow, and you're right in the middle of the map, ready for just be, like, shot like a sitting fucking duck. But that proves something about Halo Reach's fucking aiming? Are you fucking serious? How many of those fucking shots even happen? You can snipe people in the head while they're jetpacking above you. But that mean, means the aim's random when you can sniper people uh, falling down above you through their fucking bollocks and into their head? Really? What the fuck? How does that even... How does that even make sense? How are you saying that five fucking shots, right? You need to get five shots in his head. And you're using this piece of footage when you don't need to get five shots in his head. You need to get four shots in his body and then one shot in his head. And if you've been shooting in his body, by the time you got to the last shot, he would have fallen down, so you would have hit him. What? Cult butt is also very inconsistent. Even an extremely inexperienced player could pull off a perfect kill in Halo Reach if they got a little bit lucky with their weapon's accuracy and weapon bloom. Now let's compare this to Halo 5. Halo 5 was designed from the ground up to be a competitive shooter. And almost all of the- What a load of fucking bollocks. Are you fucking shitting me? Are you fucking- Are you trying to tell me, right, that it's- harder to aim in halo 5 than it is to aim in halo reach even though halo 5 has more bullet magnetism has more fucking hit, wider hitboxes why the hell would we even tell you, you just lost all your credibility man it's got wider hitboxes and more bullet magnetism well done you're a fucking idiot that makes no sense this has been well documented and admitted to by 343 that the hitboxes are wider that's just just throwing it out there. I mean, is using a assault rifle at long range, does that take more skill or something? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're talking about. You're not making any sense. The weapons in Halo 5 shoot straight. There's very little inconsistency in- The weapons in Halo Reach shoot straight. The bloom does not stop the weapon from shooting straight. Go onto Halo Reach. Put somebody in front of you and shoot at them. You will shoot in a straight line. It's only when the bloom starts to widen that your bullets start to wander off. And that's to stop you spamming the fucking trigger. Because people have rapid fire pads and shit. Okay? Which if you fucking ever played fucking Halo 2 or Halo 3 or whatever, you would know that's a fucking problem. Because people just fucking pull the trigger and you're fucking dead because of rapid fire pads. They're a main huge fucking problem. And that's what they put into combat, that shit. Basically. To try and stop people fucking spamming the triggers. Or using rapid fire pads. But that's a bad idea, apparently. Okay, it's not about the skill of, like, actually aiming for someone's head. It's about rapid fire pads and fucking fluking it, apparently. It's about spending more money to cheat in the game. Apparently. That that's makes more sense to you. But whatever. Like, what are you even talking about? I just don't know how you come up with this stuff. What, what are you even talking about? The fucking bullets don't shoot straight. The bullets do shoot straight if you learn how to play the fucking game and you fire them at the correct fucking time. Okay? Because you can't spam the trigger. Because they're trying to stop you from spamming the trigger. If you do not spam the trigger, the bullets will shoot straight. They will always shoot straight if you wait so many seconds. And you can test that out in custom games. You don't need me to do it for you. Just... Sign in another controller. Play fucking split screen that you can't fucking do in Halo 5. You know what I'm saying? Load up fucking split screen. Shoot the guy in the face. Spam the trigger. Then don't spam the trigger. You'll see that it still shoots fucking straight. Oh yes. Halo 5 is so much better because people can get rapid fire pads and own people. Well done. Halo 5 is so much better because the hitboxes are wider and it's got more bullet magnetism. Well done. You're an idiot. 
You don't have a clue what you're talking about. Fanboying out of a pathetic game like Halo 5. Game that's completely fucking dead. You're there. Oh, Reach is so, like, it's still going now. Yeah, because it's a good game. Unlike Halo 5. But Halo 5 is designed to be a competitive shooter. Everyone's it's so much better. Nobody agrees with you. You are completely on an island on your own with that one. It's complete bullshit. Okay, I don't know how you get this many fucking likes. It must be 343 fanboys. It must be the fanboys. The 300,000 people here must be the same 300,000 people that are still on Halo 5. Whereas everybody else has moved the fuck on with their lives. What in the fuck, man? How can you even compare? Comparing Halo Reach to Halo 5 is like comparing a full course meal, right, to McDonald's that you found out of the fucking bin. It, it, it's stupid. It, it makes no sense. It, the games are not even comparable. You're comparing the best game ever made to the worst game ever made, essentially. Especially if you're talking about Halo. You're talking about multiplayer. You're talking about the best and the worst. Halo 5 can't even be compared to Halo 3. It can't be compared to Halo 2, Halo 1, even ODST. Even games like Destiny shit on Halo 5, and they suck dick. Games like Crisis shit on Halo 5. Games like fucking Titanfall shit on Halo 5. Games like Call of Duty shit on Halo 5. Halo 5's horrendous. What's so good about Halo 5? What, what, what redeeming features does it have? What makes it so great? Nothing. It's got nothing. Name me one, name me any game that's better than Halo Reach, honestly. Other than maybe another Halo game. That's that's all you could throw at me. That's all you could throw at me. You could maybe throw Gears of War 1 or something. That's it. That's all you could do. You can't throw anything else. Halo 5, you can throw every fucking game on the 360, the Xbox One, and the PS4, the PS3, the Wii, the Wii U, the N64. That's got better fucking games than Halo 5. It's got GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, The World Is Not Enough. The shit version of Rainbow Six. Even that on the N64, that's better. Torok Rage Wars. We just had Torok come out on the 360. Those games are better than Halo 5. And they and they suck. People are playing those games now. And they're like telling me like, Oh, have you played Torok? It's a great game. It's like Torok, like when I was playing N64, everyone was like, Torok shit. No one even cares about Torok. But now because games are so fucking bad, people play Torok. It's like, it's the best game ever. It's like... The best game ever? They're not even good. They're like average games but on the N64. The N64's got way better games than Torok, but... I'm wandering off topic here, but... Torok's better than Halo 5. Torok Rage Wars is better than Halo 5. Unreal Tournament's better than Halo 5. Ghost Recon's better than Halo 5. All the Ghost Recon's are better than Halo 5. All the Rainbow Sixes, apart from probably Siege, probably pretty close shit games aliens colonial marines is better than halo 5 but I mean, we could go on here all night all fucking night you know what i'm saying so why are you comparing halo 5 to halo reach this desperation desperation from one of the biggest fanboys of halo on youtube of halo 5 of 343 pure desperation man you've got nothing how can you compare halo 5 to halo reach consistently Okay, I let it slide the first time, but this is getting ridiculous. How many times can you compare it to fucking Halo 5? Compare it to Halo 3. Compare it to Halo 2. Okay. Those are good games. Yeah, they're not as good as Halo Reach in my personal fucking preference and the way the game mechanics are and whatever, but everyone's got their own preference. But Halo 5, that's not even, that's not even a comparison. That's like comparing a Call of Duty game to Halo. Why would you do that? They're two completely different fucking games. That's what Halo is now. That's what Halo 5 is. It's a Call of Duty clone. You should be comparing it to Call of Duty and saying, is it better than Call of Duty? Then you have an argument. And I'd say it isn't. I'd say like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. I'd say they're better fucking games. I'd say uh, World War fucking 2 Call of Duty. That's probably better than Halo 5. I've never played it, but it probably is. Call of Duty 2 and 3 on the 360 is certainly better than Halo 5. Really. Okay, and, I, and I'm and i not a Call of Duty player, I'm not a Call of Duty fan. 
But that's how bad Halo 5 is. Okay, Call of Duty is better than Halo 5. So what is the comparison? Why is there a comparison between Halo 5 and, and Halo Reach? Listen, there's no comparison there, mate. You're, you're losing your mind. Most of Halo 5's weapons, except for the new battle rifle, it's completely terrible. I thought when he said new battle rifle, he meant the Halo 2 battle rifle that they added in, but whatever, I don't know what he's talking about. So they've, up so they've updated the battle rifle, whatever, who cares. I mean, let's face it, it, it had shitty fucking aim down sights anyway, so... Part of Halo Reach's core design are the armor abilities, and no matter how you feel about armor abilities, some people love them, some people hate them, especially that armor lock. But what the armor abilities of Halo Reach oh. allow for are different experiences across the same map. So let's bring up Sword Base. We were first talking about this map when we were talking about Luck. It's one of the most popular maps in Halo Reach, and it plays a lot of different ways depending on which armor ability you choose at the start of the game. The I don't think it's Luck if you're flying around with a fucking needle like an absolute noob in the window. I mean, like, you're gonna die. You're gonna fucking die. I don't think that's luck. I think that's fucking, you just outgunned him there. And you're obviously not even that good at Halo Reach. You're probably the best fucking player in the world at Halo 5. That's not an achievement I want under my belt. I do not care. I don't want to be good at Halo 5. I got no desire. Okay. But clearly you're not the best player at Halo Reach from, from the footage you're giving me. Unless you're giving me your, like, your worst ever footage. Because why would you be standing in the middle of a map shooting a guy who's in the middle of the map too? where's the cover where's the smarts where's the, where's the tactics where's the power weapons why are you standing in the middle of the map shooting someone with a fucking dmr is this d and this is slayer dmrs you didn't even find that weapon on the map you didn't even find that shit you you just spawned with it okay this is the first time we've seen you with a weapon here with the plasma pistol i believe you've you've picked that up from somewhere well done but this guy here has got a fucking rocket uh, grenade launcher. What's he going back? Choice is the jet it's some other shit on his back. Is so what are you doing? So tall, having a jetpack allows you to get all the way up to the top of the map where you have the best map control easily. But just be yes, but the jetpack is noisy as fuck, so you'll never fucking make it. Smart people know to go around and climb the fucking stairs and play it clever. Because this map is tall doesn't necessarily mean that the jetpack is always going to be the best choice. Here's another example on the Blood Gulch remake. Well, give us another example on that map then. What about you use the sprint and you, you run for the weapons and you get to the weapons first because you're faster than everybody else? What about the armor lock and you go into the fucking room with the shotgun and the armor lock in the fucking uh, lift room and then every time someone throws a grenade up the lift, you go into armor lock. You're not using it to troll people. You're not using it to block people from punching you or anything. You're using it to stop the grenades from killing you. Smart use of the armor abilities. Now, I don't even use the armor lock, but it's smart. Because people are throwing grenades up the lift, and they can't fucking damage you. So you drop your into your armor lock, the grenade goes off, then they come up the lift like, oh, I must have softened him up. No, you're full health. It's smart. That's smart play. The jetpack isn't really that useful on sword base. Unless you're trying to get to that fucking weapon that's on the middle bridge or whatever. So, I think that is the fucking grenade launcher that that guy had. I believe. But they changed the weapons around on that. There used to be a concussion rifle on there. And then they took it out for some reason. And they put a sniper rifle in. There wasn't a sniper rifle in originally. But whatever, you know, I know that shit because I used to play the fucking game for years. But, like, you're not going to give any other examples. Like, you could use a hologram and then you could run it onto the bridge. So when the guy starts shooting the hologram, then you come out and nail his ass. There's all kinds of ideas there, like dynamic gameplay. But you switch to fucking Blood Gulch? We just talk about one armor ability on the map and then just switch to Blood Gulch? actually remember what it's called in Halo Reach. But it's a remake of Blood Gulch from it's Halo It's fucking Blood Gulch! Just call it Blood Gulch! <sighs> it's called fucking Hemorrhage. That's what it's called. It goes Blood Gulch, yeah. Coagulation on Halo 2. Then you had Valhalla, which was 
like Blood Gulch, but not because it's not really. It's the same shit, but it's different. So they just called it Valhalla, which is nothing to do with blood. And then in, in Halo fucking Reach, it's called Hemorrhage. Like, Sanctuary's called Asylum, whatever. But just call them what they are. Call it Blood Gulch, because that's what it is, because it isn't any fucking different. Just a couple of the weapons changed, a couple of caves added in. That's it. It's the same level. Don't get technical. But you can't remember what it's called. This is a fucking video. Why don't you just look the shit up? Look the shit up. It's called Hemorrhage. This map is huge. Using an armor ability like Sprint will allow you to get into cover and get the weapons in the middle of the map a little bit easier. But if you're like, why wouldn't you use a fucking vehicle? What the fuck? You, you're going to get weapons from the center of the map on foot? How about using the teleporter? How about grabbing a vehicle? What the fuck do you mean? Use the sprint. Like the sprint's gonna help you on fucking hemorrhage, on fucking blood gulch. Why the fuck do you just fucking run to it? You don't. It's wrong. Like me, and you like to use active camouflage on this map, and you're holding a sniper rifle, you're gonna be very hard to kill. The armor abilities of Halo Reach made Halo Reach a lot easier of a game, and therefore made it a lot more social. Part of the reason that there wasn't a bit- he, he, I'm sorry, dude, but why the fuck would you stand in the middle of the map, even with that? Every time you shoot, right, your camouflage drops. That shit would not work if I was playing that game. I'd be like, he's on that fucking hill over there, shoot that motherfucker now. And you'd be dead because my team would take you the fuck out. You wouldn't stand in the middle of the map like that if I was playing the fucking game. Who are these fucking noobs? Like, seriously, you're standing in the middle of the fucking map. Every time you fire your gun, your fucking camo drops. Okay, you're standing on the base. You're hiding on the base. You're hiding in cover. You're hiding in a cave. You're hiding in behind some rocks. Yeah, I can see that. But why are you standing in the middle of the fucking map and how are you still alive? Will someone kill this motherfucker, please? How'd you let him get this footage? Very big competitive scene in Halo Reach were because of these armor abilities. Lead your shot, and motherfucker. Halo Shoot ahead of him so it'll hit him. Oh. For the massive MLG and competitive Halo recession. I do if you shoot ahead of him, the fucking bullet will trail Impressive. like if you shoot MLG here right so Halo not that bit so can go back camouflage on this map and you're holding right. a you lead the bullet in front of him right the armor you want to be aiming in front of him and then pull the trigger just as he's slightly behind the aimer so, so then the reason that there wasn't a very like he's trying to aim at him no aim ahead of him so that as the vehicle drives towards the aimer then you pull the trigger and then the auto aim will help you fucking hit him don't fucking try and shoot him like clean off the fucking vehicle fuck me you can't just you shoot you lead the bullet and you try and shoot ahead of shit so he drives into your aimer you let him do the work for you you don't try and aim you shouldn't try and follow him with your sniper rifle. You get your sniper rifle in front of him and let him drive into your scope. It's just fucking basic shit, man. Maybe I'm just a fucking pro. Maybe I'm just the best fucking Halo Reach player ever. But, you know, that's bad. That That's bad. If, I, if you were on my team and I saw that, I would have told you exactly what I just told you now. Lead your fucking shots a bit, man. A lot about what makes Halo Halo, and I think at the end of the day, that will always be the social modes. It's still a fan favorite. You're Halo not even going for headshots on the fucking guys that are fucking jetpacking. You're wasting two shots. That's two bullets, man. That's a waste. Shoot them in the fucking heads. Bang, one shot. You can't miss them. You can't. When someone jetpacks up, man, I'm telling you now, when someone jetpacks up, right, you shoot them in the head every time. Dead easy. Dead easy, honestly. Because they're sitting ducks. Right? So how are you wasting two fucking shots? I, I know sometimes, sometimes like you're trying to hit them in the head and then they go slightly higher and you hit them in the chest by accident, but you're literally aiming for their chest. You're not even going for the headshot. It's very rare you'll go for the headshot and you'll miss completely. Normally what happens is because they're boosting upwards, you'll hit them in the chest because you've mistimed where their head's going to be, but you'll still get a chest shot anyway, so you might as well go for the headshot, and then you'll get the chest shot if you fuck up. 
You're going for the chest shot off the bat, which means you're wasting all your fucking ammo. <sighs> and this guy's supposed to be a fucking Halo fan. He doesn't know jack about Halo Reach. This again. Same as all these other fuckers I mentioned me, they don't know anything. Halo game. Ask almost anyone about Halo Reach and they'll say that they really enjoyed it. At least some aspect of it. What I think is so miraculous about Halo Reach is the fact that it's still played today by thousands of people, despite the existence of the Master Chief Collection. The Ma Reach isn't on the Master Chief Collection! <laughs> and the Master Chief Collection was broken and is broken as fuck now! If the Master Chief Collection wasn't broken at launch, who's to say? Who's to fucking say? Okay, it's on the Xbox One. Okay, it's got four fucking Halo games. Five fucking Halo games with the fucking ODST update. Okay, I'm sure if it wasn't broken at launch, it would have been way more popular, especially Halo 2 and Halo 1, because they haven't been played online on console for years. And, well, Halo 1 was never online on console. So if it had been decent out of the box... It would have been huge. I'm sure it would have done a lot better than it did. I'm sure it would have had more population. Maybe Halo Reach would have still outbeat it, but it's not a fair comparison. It's like, it's again, you're comparing a turd to a fucking a steak. You can't compare them two games. It's complete bollocks. Oh, yeah, because even though Halo Master Chief Collection came out, that doesn't fucking work, Halo Reach still succeed. Yeah, and... Nothing has come out since Halo Reach that's as good as Halo Reach, okay? There's only a few games that have even even come even, like, halfway near Halo Reach. And those are, like, Gears Judgment and... That's, that's about it. I mean, Gears Judgment, Gears Ultimate Edition, Gears of War 4 is, like, somewhere trailing behind that and behind Judgment. Like, them are, like, the only ones I would say... Are even close. And they're nowhere near. They're nowhere fucking near it. Halo Reach is far above them. There hasn't been a single game that's anywhere near Halo Reach. Anywhere fucking near. What are you talking about, man? Chief Collection has some problems, but it allows you to play the other Halo games in 60 frames per second. However, no matter how you play... What was Halo shitty hit detection? That you were just saying Halo Reach has shitty hit detection... Which it doesn't. It has great hit detection. It just has reticle bloom, which makes the bullets purposely not fucking aim correctly. Because to stop people spamming with fucking rapid fire pads and fucking spamming the trigger and actually aiming their shots precisely, which makes the game more fucking difficult to fucking play and more skillful. But apparently Halo 5 is more skillful to play, even though it's fucking clearly not. And now you're saying that. Oh, well, you can play the Halo 3 at 60 frames per second with worse hit detection, which has been fucking exposed already. I would have thought you'd know about this. What are you talking about? You just complained about Reach's hit detection. You complained about Reach's headshots. You complained about the DMR and getting headshots. And yet the hit detection for the BR in Halo 3 on the MCC is fucking horrendous. It's way worse than the 360 version. So what are you fucking trying to say? You're contradicting yourself. Halo Reach, you are always going to play Halo Reach in 30 frames per second. So even in the ever-changing gaming world where 60 frames per second is increasingly becoming the standard, Halo Reach at 30 frames per second, while it does look sort of peasant-like, is still played today. It sort of brings up the entire... If you want to play dog shit in 60 frames per second, go ahead. Play Call of Duty, play Titanfall, play Destiny 2 on the PC. All 60 frames per second, I'm sure you can get it somewhere, 60 frames per second on a lot of these fucking new games. But they're not good games, so no one gives a fuck. Question of why Halo Reach isn't on the Master Chief Collection to begin with. Then yes, you did hear that right. The Master Chief Collection, which is supposed to be a collection of all of the best Halo games, doesn't include Halo Reach. At first, maybe it's because the Master Chief is not in the game. And it's the Master Chief Collection. It's about the story. It's for people who have never played 
Halo before. It's for people who are massive Halo fans and want to experience the story on the Xbox One with new overlaid graphics on Halo 1 and 2. That's the main reason the game exists. And experience the multiplayer and everything as well, yes. But why the hell would Halo Reach be there? It's not a game about the Master Chief. The whole point is, they do it so that when you play Halo 1, 2, 3 and 4, then the story carries on into Halo 5. That's the whole idea. Now we all know how Halo 5 turned out, we know it's a bag of shit. But that's the point, it's to get you hyped for their next game as, as well as providing you with a game to play. Because you're going to want to continue the fucking story after you played those four epic games. You might not even have a 360 anymore. You might not have any. You might not have any Halo anymore. You 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 know your house could have burnt down. Um, you you could have sold it because you needed money to feed your kids or something. And you're like, I I'm doing alright for myself now. I'm gonna buy the Xbox One and I'm gonna get uh, the Master Chief Collection. I'm gonna relive all all the Halo campaigns and then I'm gonna get Halo Five and blah blah fucking blah. Halo Reach doesn't even come into that because it's not a game about the master chief odst was added because they fucked it up i don't know if it would have been added otherwise as dlc but it's on the same engine as halo 3 exactly the same so that's probably why they added that rather than halo reach because it was less fucking work it's basically the dlc of halo 3 so it's it's easier to put on there i'm sure it is because it runs on exactly the same engine i mean the reach engine i think was used for halo 4 as well but it was slightly changed or whatever. It's not exactly the same. So, obviously, unless you're going to like pull the ODST card and say, well, ODST doesn't have the Master Chief in it and just be an idiot. The game is called the Master Chief Collection. Halo Reach does not feature the fucking Master Chief. Oh, but he's in the last cutscene. If you press left on the control stick, he's in the fucking ice. It's a Shut the fuck up. He's not in the game. You don't play as him. Shut up. Fuck's sake. Why make stupid comments about this? Urgh, hey, the Master Chief Collection is supposed to have all the best Halo games in it. No, it's supposed to have the Master Chief Collection. Hence, the Master Chief. It doesn't say the Noble Six Collection. Oh, fuck's sake. The only games in the Master Chief Collection were Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and Spartan Ops. The only explanation... Spartan Ops is not a game, it's a game mode in Halo 4. You bellend. ...ever heard for Halo Reach not being in the Master Chief Collection is that Master Chief isn't in Halo Reach. But Correct. But Halo 3 ODST is in the Master Chief Collection. You fucking moron! You fucking moron! You can play it in updated 60 frames per second on the MCC. It's all about the ODSTs, and it's a pretty good campaign, but why isn't Halo Reach in here? Especially since Master Chief is in Halo Reach. No. Me oh, he's... I have... I promise you, I promise you, I swear to Christ, as God is my witness, I have not watched this fucking video yet. And he's saying the same shit that I said all the fanboys keep fucking coming on my videos and saying and, and stupid arguments and shit that I've already seen before for the last fucking 10 years. They're getting it from this motherfucker. This fucking moron is brainwashing little fucking 12 year old kids and other fucking mentally challenged people into fucking ranting and raving on my fucking videos. I called exactly what he was going to say before. I was making a joke and he's saying it. I was making a joke because people have been saying this on my... I was making it... I was trying to be funny. I, 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 he's literally saying what I just said. Oh, that's so... I fucking... I, I fucking... I, I, I swear down. I swear down. People, people need to wake the fuck up. Seriously, they need to wake the fuck up, man. I, I don't even want to click this now. I'm going to have to click it, though. Go on. Go on, what's he going to say? 
Oh, there's no way to actually play as Master Chief unless you count the firefight voice. What are you looking at? But in this cutscene at the end of Halo Reach, if you hold right stick, you can actually see Master Chief right there. Master Chief is in Halo Reach. Why isn't Halo Reach in the Master Chief collection? I don't know about you, but I would love to play Halo Reach in beautiful... No, the video hasn't broken. I'm just being quiet. Do I need to say anything? Do I need to say anything else? This motherfucker is fucking retarded. This motherfucker is, like, the reason we have Halo fan. This this guy creates Halo fanboys, okay? They go to his fucking channel, they see his bullshit content, and then they're like, Yeah, why isn't Halo Reach in the Master Chief collection? Master Chief's in Halo Reach, bro! That's the retards we get because of him. Because of the stupid, idiot, retarded remarks like that. Brain dead fucking remarks like that. And that's that's the Halo community. That's the, the dregs of society that we have left in the Halo community. Because all the decent people saw Halo 5 was a bag of shit and fucking left. And this guy is like so much part of the problem and i don't think he understands that i don't think he i, I think he, he literally lives on another planet to me he, he just lives in his own little dream world where he makes stuff up as he goes along like the hit detection shit in halo reach and stuff like that like how does he even come up with this stuff yeah the reticle bloom has an effect on the bullets but that doesn't mean the gun doesn't shoot straight the gun shoots straight as long as you fucking know how to use it but apparently the fucking bullets in Halo 3 on the MCC are fine because he he doesn't bring that up as a problem. He, even though it's worse than the 360 version. So why don't people play that then? Oh, it's 60 frames per second. It's the better version. But the hit detection shit. You just complained about the hit detection in Halo Reach that's got good hit detection. And then you go on Halo 5 and you're like, but Halo 5's got the best hit detection ever. No, it's got a hitbox that's a mile wide. The hit detection's too fucking good. You can shoot at somebody, you can shoot like in the corner of the room and it'll hit him in the face. When it feels like it. It's inconsistent as fuck. And now we're fucking, we're going to argue this. We're going to say Halo 5's better than Halo Reach somehow in any way. Halo 5 isn't better than Halo Reach in any way, shape or form. Nothing. The Master Chief's in Halo Reach. That's a good one. Give me another one. I literally thought for a second he was just going to talk about the firefight voice and I got it wrong, but no. But no. 4K 60 frames per second. It's a shame that we can't play Halo Reach on the Master Chief Collection, but I'm a believer that we might be seeing it sometime soon. Recently, 3-4... <sighs> This guy wants Halo Reach to be ported to the MCC. One of the most broken games in the history of fucking games. Now, if Halo Reach did come out on the MCC, I would probably get it to sp spam the achievements and then never play it again. But there's no fucking way in hell it's going to be any good. There's no fucking way in hell it's going to be as good as the fucking 360 version because the fucking Halo 3 isn't as good as the 360 version. Because Halo 2 isn't as good as the original version on the original Xbox. So, why? Ah, it'd be great to have Halo Reach on the MCC at 60 frames. What planet are you on? What planet are you on? If they're going to do a Halo Reach, why don't they just make it a standalone game? Oh, I forgot. You're that guy that said it would be a better idea to put Halo 3 Anniversary on the MCC. That would make more fucking sense for them... Uh, money wise oh of course it would that makes perfect fucking sense you fucking idiot what are you talking about what's wrong with a standalone they could make a standalone halo reach it would sell way fucking more copies and make more fucking money you could call it like game of the year edition or something or some bullshit like that and have all the dlc in it and just relayer the graphics and make it all up to date and shit and have like blur studios do cutscenes and stuff you know what I mean? If they wanted to, they could add levels if they had any, if they if they could. You know what I mean? They could add extra levels to the game and stuff. Maybe Noble Six doesn't fucking die. Maybe he escapes. 
there you go. There's some DLC for you right there. Noble Six is alive. He doesn't die. We just thought he was dead. But no, he just drops his helmet and then he escapes. There you go. There's a freebie for you, 343. I mean, it's stupid, but that's the kind of bullshit I expect from 343. But So, do you see what I'm saying? They can make way more money doing it that way. Now, let's just port the Halo Reach to the MCC for absolutely no reason. And, and you know, 343 is retarded. We've seen this. We've seen, oh yeah, we're going to uh, update the MCC in 2018, even though they haven't updated it since 2015. But whatever, we would have seen that coming. And now we've got Luke here. I think because they've removed the stats from Halo Reach... That's a clear sign they're going to put it in the MCC. Hmm. Like, why does that mean they're putting it in the MCC? What the, what, what logic does that follow? Even if that's 343 logic, and that's like, that's the, the, the same logic you employ, like, just don't make any fucking sense logic, that's not actual logic, so you can't have that one. It doesn't make any sense. How does removing stats from a game from 2010... And wiping it from existence, not even keeping the fucking archive for us fucking loyal fans, mean they're going to put it on the MCC, and why the fuck would I care? That'd be the kind of shit that I'm like, okay, um, let me fucking get like one of my friends to game share it, so we can scan the fucking thing, make sure we don't pay any money for it, and then fucking just get the achievements. Because I'm an achievement whore. Most people wouldn't even fucking buy that shit. If it was on the MCC. A standalone game would be more appealing for everybody. But you just don't seem to understand that. And you never will. Apparently. Like didn't you watch. I'm sure you watched my other video. Where I already explained this. But where was your rebuttal for that shit? You're still talking about the same thing. Like it. I'm just fucking. This video is probably like two hours long. I swear. Four three industries took down the pages where you could see your old Halo Reach scores, service record, and all of the kills that you ever got, all of your stats. In my opinion, it looks like they're moving around space to fit Halo Reach on the Master Chief Collection. In the coming months, there are going to be massive. My opinion, you're a fucking idiot. Dates to the Master Chief Collection. These updates are aimed at making the game more efficient and increasing the level of classic Halo fun. Most of the updates are quality of life based, better menus, UI, technical sort of stuff. And while Halo Reach isn't currently being ported to the Master Chief Collection, the teams at 343 Industries have a Halo Reach Master Chief Collection port on the top of their list. So the odds look pretty good in our favor that Halo Reach might be coming to the MCC. 343 is currently taking feedback on Halo Waypoint in the forum, so if you'd like to go give your feedback on what you want added to the MCC, go there now. Let me know what you loved about Halo Reach down in the comments section below, and if you think it should be part of the MCC, let me know why. Also, if this video entertained you and you'd like to spread this message of Halo Reach, you can either share or like this video. Seriously, clicking the like button helps a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. If you liked this video and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you click my LTN logo in the left to subscribe to my channel. You can also check out what it takes to get max rank in Halo Reach without an internet connection by clicking the link on the right. My name is Luke the Notable. I want all of you to stay notable. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. You fucking won't. You fucking won't see me in the next fucking video. What kind of sorry display was that? That was pathetic, man. I might as well have just sat here and watched fucking Angry Joe play the fucking shitty Power Rangers game on Xbox Live Arcade or fucking whatever. That would have that would have probably been better. You know, I, I probably could have watched like. Um, WrestleMania predictions from OTRS Central, you know what I mean? I could have watched something useful, but no. No, I had to see that fucking video, didn't I? I had to see that video last night. I had to see that garbage, and I saw it say Halo fucking Reach, and I was like, here we go again. Some guy that doesn't know shit about Halo Reach is going to try and fucking explain everything about it and why it's such a great game when he doesn't know jack shit about it, and you fucking know you don't know jack shit about it, so shut the fuck up. If they really are so sad and so fucking dumb, they're going to put a game that's already backwards compatible on the MCC, what purpose would that serve? What purpose does it serve? It doesn't serve any purpose. You could do like a double pack game where you did like Halo 3 souped up graphics and Halo Reach souped up graphics. That would be kind of awesome. 
to have like the remastered graphics on those games like you have on halo one and two and the blur studios cutscenes, or you could put the blue Blur studios cutscenes on the original halo one make master chief collection two or something just make a new game don't add shit to the mcc that game is fucking dead it makes no sense and if they if i swear down if they add if they add halo reach for free on the mcc at least it will be free okay but if what if they charge for that shit what if they charge for that shit have you even thought about that And then they're going to lock achievements up. And you're going to have to pay money to finish the game, even though I already finished the fucking game with a 6,000 gamer score on it. But now I'm going to have to do it all again. I have another 1,000 gamer score probably. When I don't fucking want to. I don't want any more achievements on the MCC. Because I already fucking completed it. So why? I completed it like two years ago or whatever now, or, or whatever. Did you think about that? No, because you don't give a shit about fucking achievements, do you? You probably don't even have a thousand gamer score on the fucking MCC. Or Halo Reach. Or any of the fucking Halo games. <sighs> Not going to repeat myself, guys. You saw it. I called shit that he was going to say before he even fucking said it. I didn't even know that was coming up. Feel free to subscribe. See you later.